Alright, yo, what's going on, my producer friends? It is your boy Q, and we're back at it again with another video of Q Timber. If you guys don't know what Q Timber is, it's super simple. I'm just uploading 30 videos in 30 days, doing a little challenge. If you guys want to stay tuned for that, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button, and then right next to it is a bell. You hit that bell, you're going to be notified every time I upload. Pretty lit. But yeah, before we get started with this autumn vocal preset, if you guys could do me a favor, go down to the description. There's an Instagram link. Follow me there. Just because it's a great spot for you guys to stay up to date with what I do day to day. And I usually post like coupon codes, early announcements, just stuff you won't see on YouTube or stuff like that. Also, real quick, I have a Discord server. If you guys aren't in there, you should join because I'm going to start doing like these YouTube competitions and like YouTube events and stuff like that. So if you're in the Discord, you're going to get notifications or you might be featured in the next video. So if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and join. The link's always in the description below. But anyways, let's get into today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can sound like Autumn. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I showed you how to make a beat like Autumn. And in that video, I actually did a freestyle, which was super dope. But what happened was I had this new laptop that I just got and everything wasn't set up correctly. Basically messed up the audio and you couldn't hear the freestyle. So we had to scratch that. But the video is still up. So if you want to see how I made this beat, go check that out. But today we're going to be using that beat to make this Autumn vocal preset. Well, it's actually already made. I'm going to show you guys how to use it and what it actually sounds like. So let's jump in FL and I'll show you guys exactly how it sounds. All right, so before anything, I'll just show you guys how this preset actually sounds. So I'm going to just hit play and sit back, relax, and see if you enjoy this or not. So yeah, I actually think this preset turned out pretty good. I was actually going to remake that Autumn song, Not 3, Not 2, because that's definitely my favorite song by him. But I couldn't find the instrumental, so I said that we could just use this beat. I think it turned out pretty cool. Obviously, it's a little more melodic than I feel like most of his music. He usually has like a lower tone. Let me show you guys how you could actually grab this. If you head over to quintababa.com, the link's in the description below. You're going to see this website right here. Go to vocal templates. And it's not here yet, but it's going to be right where this Yeet one is. So once this video is live, you guys will be able to see the template right here. It'll just be called the Autumn Template. And by the way, this is 100% FL Studio stock. So as long as you have FL Studio installed, you'll be able to use this completely fine. But basically, you're going to get this file right here. It's an FLP and you'll just open it and it's going to pull up this exact file. So you're going to get everything in here, even the vocals. And I just do that so you could like edit my vocals and just see exactly what I did and just mess around with it just so you could get a good taste of what it's going to sound like and how you can make your vocals also sound like that. So let's go ahead and break this down. So this, like I said, this is the file you're going to get. If you open up your mixer, you're going to see you have basically four tracks that you're going to play with. So you got your first track right here, the beat, which is mixer track 15. And what you're going to do is drag in your beat and you just use this button right here. You route it to mixer track 15, which will be where your beat goes. And then you're pretty much set. Just make sure you set your BPM for your beat. And then you're going to go to this track right here called record here. And you're going to go to this menu, drop it down. And you're going to select your mic input. Mine is input one. And then you're also probably going to have to, this first slot might not be here if you don't have auto-tune. But you could just replace it, go to more plugins, and type in picture. And you can get the FL Studio version of auto-tune. Yeah, then you would go into the auto-tune of your choice. Set the key. Mine is G major. And then you're pretty much set if you enable this track. Whoa. You have auto-tune. And you could hear every effect live. And also, if you want to turn the reverb and the delay down, you go to this effect bus, which I have right here. And as you can see, there's a fruity reverb and delay on it. But the way you control this is this knob right here. As you can see, up in the top left, I have 36% enabled. But if you want more, just bring this knob up. If you want less, bring it down. If you want none, bring it to zero. Yeah, like I said, I got it chilling at 38 or 36. And then basically, the only other thing you have to do is click this button right here, which is arm disc for recording. And that makes sure that you just record everything that you actually are trying to record. And yeah, you're pretty much set. So then you would just, for example, you'd hit record. If it pulls up this menu, I usually just do everything. And if you ever want to change that, just right click the record button. But uh, let's enable this and we'll just do like a little test. Test, test, test. And then if you wanted this to be your main track, 
you would just go to this track and route it to mixer track two, which is where the lead vox is. Test, test, test. test, test, test. Boom, and you're set. And then if you want to record ad libs, you do the same thing, record on this track and just route it to three. So you would just bring this to three. And as you put these intro vocals on the ad lib track as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I guess I'll just show you guys a freestyle so you guys can hear exactly what it sounds like live. We're just going to go to the end of the song, enable recording, turn this track on. And let's do a little freestyle. I'm up in your city. I'm fucking on bitches and bitches. I'm fucking on bitches. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. That is everything. I hope you enjoyed this preset. If you did, and if you want it, you already know where to go, quintababa.com. But if you guys could do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video at all. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the rest of Q-Timber. There's going to be a video tomorrow, of course. It'll actually be at the right time. But yeah, like I said, that's all I got for you guys now. If you guys do cop this preset, send me anything you record with it. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.